People gather today in Clayton to recognize the lives lost of a mother and her two children. They're calling for a stop to domestic violence and letting people know why it's important to speak up to prevent more tragic events like this from happening. News 11's Ty Hawkins spoke to the mother of Rose Ann McCulley, who was killed by her husband. Bobby McCulley murdered Rose Ann McCulley and two of her kids. On Saturday in Clayton, people met to honor her and her two children. 34-year-old Roseanne McCulley, her 13-year-old son Caden, and daughter Kaylee, just six years old, all three murdered by Bobby McCulley. I lost my daughter and my two grandchildren um, to something that I, I never imagined would happen. On Saturday, in front of the Buzz Westfall Justice Center in Clayton, people gathered to mourn the lives they say were taken too soon. Roseanne and Bobby were married. Recently, he filed for divorce. They had a one-year-old daughter together. After killing the others, Bobby dropped the unharmed baby off at a relative's. It's so heartbreaking because she's only one and uh, she's not going to remember a lot, but I'm going to make sure that she's steeped in uh, family. Police then found Bobby dead in a car where he took his own life. According to police records, multiple calls from the McCauley home were made in the last couple of weeks, one of them for domestic violence. They saw exactly what had been done to her, and they charged it as some uh, misdemeanor, assault three or something, which meant they could only put out a wanted, which means that they weren't actively looking for him. I mean, had he run across them at a traffic stop or something, they might have arrested him, but they didn't actively go out and find him. Although sad, All Solutions president and CEO Michelle Sherrod says events like Saturdays are necessary to end domestic violence. We want folks to understand you don't have to suffer in silence. You can get help, and we're bringing those resources to the table. You can find more information on the funeral services for Roseanne, Caden, and Kaylee in this article on our website, fox2now.com. Reporting in Clayton, Ty Hawkins.